my name is Daisy and I highlighted this because it's an important detail. The Patriot Act is a U.S. law passed in the wake of the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks. I think that's important, so I'm going to highlight that. The passing and renewal, I think that's a word we may not know. Renew. The passing and renewal of the Patriot Act has been extremely controversial. I don't know what that means. Supporters claim that it's been an instrumental in a new number of investigations and arrests of terrorists. While critics counter the act gives the government too much power, threatens civil liberties, liberties. I don't know what that means and undermines the very democracy is it seeks to protest. Protect. Let's take a look at what the Patriot Act is. The support and critici criticism behind it and if the Patriot Act is really working. confused with this. Title II is just one section of the bill. It allows the interception of communications they are related to terrorist activities and allows law enforcement agencies to share information related to terrorist activities with federal authorities. Title two allows delayed inform not notification of search warrants. I don't know what this means. Delayed. Meaning a suspect house will be searched while the suspect isn't present, and the suspect will not be notified of the search until after it was carried out. The Patriot Act has come under fire of a number of reasons. It has passed very quickly, just over a month after the September 11, 2001 terrorist attack. And Congress spent very little time reading and debating it. By some accounts, less than 48 hours passed between the presentation of the bill's final wording. I don't know what that means. Wording. 
and the law passing in both houses of Congress leading to some doubt whether many members of Congress actually read the lengthy and complex bill. I'm confused with this. There are fears that the Patriot Act reduces or removes many of the civil li liberties enjoyed in the United States and guaranteed by the Constitution. The right of, to privacy not specifically mentioned in the Constitution was supported by numerous, numerous Supreme Court decisions and freedom from unreasonable searches and seizures. I don't know, I know what that means. What do they mean with seizures? Are the most notable infringements due to the expansion of the government's ability to conduct wiretaps? I'm confused with this. And perform, perform searches without notification. Okay, I'm going to highlight this. The right to privacy not specifically mentioned in the Constitution but support decisions. The Patriot Act was passed in 2001 and, and was approved in 2006.